Welcome back everybody, some more everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. We're going to play Vortex Valley today, uh, probably my least favourite course, but I've got a terrible feeling that the next Final Fantasy themed international tournament's going to be on here, so I better get some practice in. Uh, I think we're playing regular tees and mega cups today, because it's the open online course. Hold one. It's a par four. Let's see how we get on. We're going to play with the custom clubs, uh, but there's a fair bit of wind by the looks of things. And I just don't like this course. It's just hard. As we'll see. I think also I haven't really figured the course management out of this course. Great I haven't job. really figured out the places you should you should play. Okay. And the sloping fairways doesn't really help you either. But we're on. This is for eagle. So we've got an eagle pup. Mega cup, so again. Should be should be reasonably straightforward. Again, the issue is the pace, just because it's a downhill part. Okay. So an eagle start. I've said I don't like it. <laughs> we managed to drive the green and get ourselves an eagle. It's a par three. Okay, par three. So the verticality is usually the challenge on this course. So it's a way uphill, and we're into the wind. So I'm probably going to need a bit more club. And usually it's just judging nice distance shot. and altitude and line. It's all the normal things, just vortex is hard. Looks like you made it. Okay, so we've got 27 on, foot pop. No break to start with, a bit of break at the end. A little it's bit down. downhill. Let's try it out there. Go on! In the hole. Good. Makes a birdie. Lovely. Hard work. I'll take it. Okay, so we've got par five coming up. Hole three. It's a par five. Okay, so tailwind. Well, you can't drive over that water, can you, for sure? We might just lay up a little bit and let the wind help us out. Just staying up on the fairway is the challenge here. Excellent. Is the the way the fairways are shaped. Yeah, we're just gonna run off, aren't we? I think. Yeah, yeah. You just you just run off all the time. Really hard to keep a ball on there. Okay. Oh. Well, we've been a little bit unlucky there, haven't we? What can I do? Seven iron's gonna clip it, I should imagine. Little. What happens if I try and drop it short? No, none of that, none of that looks appetizing. An eight iron's not going to make it either, is it? We might as well just go for it if we're going to do that. Um, could declare an unplayable. It's probably the thing to do, actually. And we'll take a drop and we'll lose the stroke, but I don't want to hit that ball because we literally could go anywhere. At least we get a shot at the pin. Oh, missed the impact. No idea where that's gone. I was going to say we got a bit of luck. But we did it. So we're in the sand. We're going to have to get this in the hole. Just going to have to get this in the hole. Okay. Nice save. Oh, no chance. Nice no chance. Pressure shot. Well, we get the par putt at least. So taking the unplayable was probably the right option. Safe par. Pretty good. But yeah, I just think it's unfair. You, you hit the fairway, it rolls off. You end up with an unplayable All shot. Four. It's a uh, par four. But it's the back of our minds. Let's play the hole we see. Okay, so we've got a bit of crosswind here. Drivable green again. Great shot! All about where it lands. Got a bit of fairway. It should just trickle on. Oh, it's on the fringe. It's on the fringe. Okay. Ooh, we got a little chance to chip. Well, I suppose it's better than putting it. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Great. Yeah. 
Nah, line wasn't good. Line wasn't good. And it's over and it's on. So we've got a 10 foot putt back. Oh, it breaks a bit. Ah, that was pace. Just needed a smidgen cool. more pace. So back to back pass. That ah, second one was my own fault. I'll, I'll take full blame for that. Hole five. It's a par four. Okay, par four. This is an interesting hole. So you've got that there. You just can't get it up on that top level green. So what you what you try and do is play down here somewhere. So you sort of play that length, but then try and stop it because the altitude just kills your distance. And then again, we're up on that tier, and then we can chip up to the green. Well, I've never been able to drive the green; it's just too high. You don't get enough height on your uh, on your clubs. Okay. Nice shot. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. On the green. So we're 13 foot away. With a birdie now. Oh, breaks a bit at the end. Stay cool. This should just die into the hole, hopefully. So we'll hold and then break like that. Bag the birdie. I'll take the birdie. Done. And done. Solid birdie. Hole six. It's a par four. So really downhill this one. 35 yards downhill. And you've got the real problem here of, of the fairway and I mean you you almost want to sort of land it and roll it and let the let the fairway take it down. I may even try that. Let's give it a let's give it a crack. Come because normally I try and kind of hit the green and you just, you just go off. You just end off down to the side. Well that's alright, let's see what happens. Will it roll? No, it just hasn't got enough hasn't got enough legs on it. But I'll get a decent chip in at least. So we're inside approach range. I suppose this is helping in terms of trying to figure out all the places I should put the ball on this course. Great shot. That's, okay. not, bad. That's not bad at all. That's definitely the approach for that, isn't it? Give yourself a good set shot. Now. That's definitely the strategy, isn't it? Nice bird. But it's an enormous strategy. So birdie for five under. Another par three. Hole seven. It's a par three. Okay, so it's not too long. It's a seven iron. It's a bit downhill. And again, a fair bit of fair bit of wind. Got the backspin on it. Excellent. Or is it gonna land? Oh that's not bad. That's not bad. You'll take that. Nice. Go on, get that birdie. Yeah, I think I'll take the um, the one and a bit foot part, please. Makes the birdie. So that's a pretty straightforward birdie as these things go. Okay, we got a four or five finish. Hole eight. It's a par four. Um, now again, I've I've driven the green here before. Yeah. Oh, for this win though, it's going to be interesting. I've over hit that. Watch out! Yeah, he doesn't like it. I think that's somewhere dodgy. Oh, it's not going to go out of bounds, is it? It is. Ah, it's the problem of overdriving that. The question is, will I get a drop? One more time. No, I'm back to the tee shot. Okay, so let's not make that mistake again. I think I've done. Nice shot. Well, Kenzo likes that one more. So we lost stroke and distance there, which oh. is never good. Oof. Mm. Oh, okay. Stop. Okay, 60 foot pop. No problem. For a par. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so it's going to break left. Break right? Break right and then left. It's got to be. I don't know. Let's just hit it. I've got no idea about how close this is going to go. Oh, well, I'll take it. Still a bogey, though. But the killer was losing stroke and distance. That just killed me. 
Nice work. Uh, see, we'll know next time. Hole nine. Hole nine. Again, this one's utterly beatable. And this is all about how far down here you can get it. We're into the headwind. So we've sort of got to be careful to some extent. Good shot. I don't want to bite too much of the bend out of it. Yeah, it landed on the fairway. We're not going to get quite up to some of those best drives, but we'll get somewhere close-ish. Nearly 400 yards. So leaves us 120 to go. Straight into the wind. Maybe a little bit more club. I can no, no, no. There, it's over here. Not quite as much wind as I thought. But 20 foot putt back. Wow, that's a bit of slope, isn't it? And it's going to drop. Getting this close is the challenge. It's almost got to go in. Yep. Finish with an eagle. It's a seven under. I mean, there's definitely more more to take there, isn't there? More to take. But eagle start, eagle finish. You can't complain. A couple of missed shots, but again, we learned a bit about the course, which is which is good. Yeah, there's people get 15 under. I think I probably need to play this one a bit more if there's going to be a tournament on it, and just figure out all those little spots, all the little course strategies. So set a score. I hope you enjoyed that. I think it's some extra items. There you go. If you did enjoy it, what oh, five gems? Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for some more everybody's golf.